Hello and welcome to Elgin County Living. I'm your host, Katherine Thompson. Today my co-host, Kate Burns, and I will be exploring Elgin County's thriving creative economy sector. First we'll visit Pinecroft Ceramic Art Studio in Malahide, and then we'll head to the Elmer Express. We'll finish the day at anything used in Sparta Country Candles in the historic village of Sparta. The creative economy can be defined as skills and ideas employed by creative people. Talent, knowledge, and innovation drive the sector. Creativity can be applied to anything from the introduction of a new process to the creation of a new product. Farmers, artists, writers, graphic designers, and engineers all contribute to Elgin County's creative economy. The first stop on our tour today is Pinecroft Ceramic Art Studio, home to the Green Frog Tea Room, Selma's Bed and Breakfast, and the Jammin' in the Cabin Band. Great, thanks Catherine. We're here now with Brenda Smith at Pinecroft Pottery just south of Elmer on Rogers Road. So Brenda, if you can give us a little uh, background as to how Pinecroft came to be. Okay, I can do that for you. Um, Pinecroft opened in May 1948 as a pottery studio started by my aunt and uncle who were veterans of the Second World War and they came here after taking a veterans course at St. Anne de Bellevue in Quebec and they set up their pottery studio and so we've been here 64 years this year. Wow. And when did you take over Pinecroft? Um, well I, I came here in 1971 and uh, learned pottery from my aunt and uncle and stayed and I've been here ever since. Now how did it come to become Little Muskoka? Little Muskoka, well that goes back to my grandfather who used to go hunting in the Muskokas in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And everything there was uh, log cabins and pine trees. And so he decided that he wouldn't always be able to go there. And as he got older, he'd always want to remember Muskoka. So he had an open field and he decided that he would plant trees and build some cabins. So he planted 85,000 pine trees and he built three log cabins and dug out the pond to make him forever able to remember Muskoka. Wonderful. Now, tell us what are in these uh, lovely log cabins around the property. Well, right now, um, the main cabin houses our uh, gift shop, where we display our pottery, and our tea room. And the original log cabin, that, the first one that was built, is used now for a bed and breakfast. And another of the original cabins is what we have for our jamming cabin, where we have our music sessions on Sunday afternoons. And in cooperation with those, we moved a section, or rather my great uncle moved a section of the Horton Street Market here, and that's where our pottery studio is. Great. Now we did see the stage over um, by the Jam and Cabin. Can you tell us a little bit about the stage and any events that are happening there? Yeah, we have, the stage has been there since, well we started our music program in 2008, and it started with just a, a number of local people who were coming out here to jam and enjoyed it under the pine trees and in the cabin and it's kind of grown from that and last year we had uh, a great concert with Valdi and Graham Wardrop from New Zealand. We had Terry Sumption and we had the Dixie Flyers and this summer we're featuring uh, our first concert comes up on the 23rd of June features uh, uh, Lynn Seward doing folk music, uh, Stephanie McElroy doing country and Pam Brooks doing um, bluegrass. And then the second event is on uh, Monday the 2nd of July and that's what we're calling a meeting of the bands and that's our house band which is the Jammin and the Cabin band and they're playing with the band from Purple Hill. And then in August we have the um, Allen Family Band. And uh, yeah, so those are the three that we have lined up for the summer. And then we have jams, open jams every Sunday afternoon. Wonderful. Yeah. Now the tea room's bustling today and I'm sure it's bustling yeah. most days in the summer. Yeah. What can people expect when they come into the tea room? Um, okay, well the tea room, uh, we opened in 1978 and I think we're best known for the fact that we bake our bread fresh every morning and everything that we serve here is um, homemade and we don't have a chef but we have local ladies who've cooked all their lives and we prepare food that is country style, home, home baked, home cooked. And we try to feature daily specials that reflect on what the season is. So right now we're serving asparagus entrees and we're serving uh, rhubarb and strawberry desserts. And we follow that theme throughout the summer or throughout the year. We have a regular menu that has a large number of items and then as the seasons change, we change our seasonal specials. Wonderful. Now, for people looking to find you, how can they get a hold of you or find you online? Okay, the best, the best way, well, the best way to visually see us is at our website which is pinecroft.ca 
Uh, they can call us at 519-773-3435. And we are just outside of Aylmer, and uh, our directions are that we're one mile west of Aylmer and a mile and a half south of number three highway on Rogers Road. And if people are using a GPS, they need to put in our address as 8122 Rogers Road, but Malahide Township. Otherwise, they go to the post office. <laughs> Great, that's a great tip. And any final comments for our viewers when they are coming to come out to Pine and Um I think they need to remember that we're just daytime hours, that we only serve lunch. Uh, summertime hours, we're here from 9 to 5. And uh, Sundays, we're here from 10 to 4. And uh, everyone's welcome. We're wheelchair accessible. Um, the only thing we ask is that they don't bring pets or dogs because we do have our own dogs on the property and that we have a no smoking policy because we are in the bush and we have to kind of adhere to that. So. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today, Brenda. You're welcome. And uh, Catherine, I don't think I'll be leaving here this afternoon. Thanks, Kate. It's great to know that the Little Muskoka Serenity is just around the corner. If you happen to find yourself near Pinecroft this summer, make sure you check out the Summer Concert Series. Many talented musicians will be sharing the stage with Pinecroft's own Jammin' in the Cabin Band. Don't forget to check out the Allen family on August 12th. Visit www.pinecroft.ca for more details. Let's take a short break and then we'll be right back on Eldon County Living.